Well, Carson, all day today, people have been coming in and out here at MAF, and airports are expecting a big rise in air travel, and passengers here are ready for it. Like, tickets were actually pretty expensive for pandemic times, I guess. Memorial Day weekend is here, and people in the basin are set to take to the skies. For some, it's the first time traveling since the start of the pandemic. Actually, I was really expecting a long line just now, but Midland uh, Airport is honestly as clear as, yeah. as clear as can be. While there were not long lines at MAF, airport employees tell me they have seen a big jump in travelers within the last day. I feel like it was pretty dead at the beginning, and then there was like an influx of people. And then it's kind of died out, and I think it's starting to, to get yeah. back up. TSA says that you should expect long lines at airports across the country as more return to normal. But airports are still requiring face masks, and some locals are still playing it safe. So, mask on. All three of us are vaccinated, um, so not too worried about it. I mean, anything we can do to keep people safe, you know, and uh, make sure everyone gets where they need to well and, well and good. And people I talk to are just ready to get out and travel. Well, I hope they have fun um, and they stay safe and um, just mainly get out of their house because that's what everyone's been doing. There's something about working from home, staying at home, not seeing family or friends. It just wears on you, you know. So I think everybody needs this getaway three-day weekend to just relax and, and unwind. And for those of you who will be traveling throughout the weekend, the TSA says you should get here early so you don't risk missing your flight. Some here at the airport say you should get here two hours early. Reporting live in Midland, I'm Mark Ramirez, ABC.